Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you six creative and brilliant ways to use canned biscuit dough. Canned biscuits are such a great staple to always keep in your fridge. And in today's video, I'm going to be sharing a breakfast, a couple of lunches, snacks, a dinner, and a dessert. These recipes are all a big hit at my house, even with my picky eaters. I'm Jennifer, and welcome to the Family Fudge. Okay guys, to start off, I'm going to be making a double bacon eggs benedict casserole. Now this recipe has all the flavors of regular eggs benedict, but in a casserole form, it's perfect for feeding a crowd and you don't have to poach up a bunch of eggs. For this recipe, you just need one can of flaky biscuit dough. I'm gonna go ahead and cut these into small pieces and then I'm spreading them out in my casserole dish that I've already sprayed just to make sure that nothing sticks. Now for the first bacon, I'm adding some chopped up slices of Canadian style bacon. And then for the second bacon, I'm just using some pre-cooked smoked traditional style bacon. Now you can't have eggs benedict without plenty of eggs. I'm gonna be using eight for this recipe. And I'm gonna go ahead and scramble these up with two cups of milk. Now I'm going to pour this mixture all over the biscuits and both of the bacons. Then I'm going to mix it all around just like this. This breakfast casserole takes about 30 to 40 minutes in a 350 degree oven. And right when it comes out of the oven, you're going to drizzle it with your favorite hollandaise sauce, which for me is the easy kind. But you definitely could make it from scratch if you want to. This casserole is so tasty and totally customizable. You could throw in cheese or any kind of veggie and make it your own. Now you guys know I'm all about the fun lunches, but honestly, these bacon cheeseburger bombs are not only great for lunch, but they also make a great dinner or a snack. To make these, you're just gonna start by cooking up some ground beef with onions, and you're gonna wanna make sure to season this mixture well. I'm using some buttery steakhouse seasoning, but you could just use some regular salt and pepper if that's what you have on hand. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and split these biscuits in half, and I am using the flaky layer type of biscuits to make this a lot easier. Now to really give these a cheeseburger flavor, I'm also gonna squirt a little bit of ketchup and mustard into my beef mixture, and then I want to fill these as full as I can. Now before I close these up, I'm also adding in here a little bit of pre-cooked bacon and of course some cheese. Now all I have to do is top this with the other half of my biscuit dough and pinch the edges closed. Once I have all the edges nice and sealed, I'm going to brush each one of these with a little bit of melted butter. Then this part is optional, but if you have some sesame seeds, you can go ahead and sprinkle those on top as well. And that's really gonna give these a classic burger look. These bake in the oven at 350 for about 18 to 20 minutes. I like to serve these with a side of pickles and some extra ketchup and mustard for dipping. My second lunchtime biscuit hack is to make some mini deep dish pizzas. This recipe is so easy and it's a great opportunity to get your kids involved. My kids love to help me make these. You're going to start by cutting your biscuits in half and I really like to use silicone liners anytime I'm making these because it keeps the pizzas from sticking and it makes cleanup a lot easier. So on the bottom, we've added half of a biscuit and then on top, you can pretty much add whatever pizza toppings you prefer. These cook up super quick, only about 12 minutes at 350. And of course, my kids love anything pizza. These are best served while hot, but they're also really tasty at room temperature as well. And of course, I love to throw them into lunch boxes. Now, I can't talk about canned biscuit dough without mentioning some kind of donut, and making them in the air fryer is really easy. Personally, I like these best when they are served warm, they're buttery and flaky, and the fresh apples inside are so good. For these apple fritter bites, I am using fresh apple instead of apple pie filling. And as you can see, to help these cook faster, I've diced them up pretty small. To this chopped up apple, I'm gonna add some sugar and some cinnamon, and you really can add however much you want depending on how sweet you like it. 
Now, for this recipe, I am using regular sized biscuits because I don't really want a gigantic apple fritter. I want just like a little bite. I'm going to go ahead and flatten out each biscuit like this. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add about one tablespoon of the apples right into the center. Now, of course, these fritters would be a lot more authentic if you went ahead and deep fried them. But today, I'm just going to add them to my air fryer basket. And I'm gonna cook these at 350 for eight minutes. Then I'm going to flip them and cook them on the other side for four minutes. Then while these are still warm, I'm going to brush each one with melted butter. Then I'm gonna to toss each of them in a cinnamon and sugar mixture. They are so good. And as you can see, they go very quickly in my house. Okay guys, now if you haven't been using canned biscuits to make dumplings for chicken and dumplings, then I totally recommend you give it a try. Now I do have a complete video on how I make this recipe and I'll link that down below for you guys if you wanna check it out. But basically this is the easiest way that I found to make Southern style dumplings for an easy and comforting dinner. All you have to do is take your biscuit and you're gonna cut it into pieces. Then you just slightly flatten out each piece with your fingers and then drop it directly into your favorite pot of chicken soup. After a few minutes of simmering, your dinner is ready to go. You're gonna be left with the most comforting pot of chicken and dumplings. It's the perfect thing to warm up your family on a cold winter's night. Now, there are so many different desserts that you can make with a can of biscuit dough, but I really love a fruit cobbler. This dessert is super cozy, but super easy to make. The fruit layer is warm and gooey, and the biscuit layer on top is flaky with a dusting of cinnamon and sugar. Now, I believe if you don't serve this with ice cream, then you're missing out. Now, today I'm making this in my slow cooker, but you could also completely cook this in your oven. This recipe is totally customizable as well. You can use any kind of fruit. Today I'm using two cans of sliced peaches, which I've drained. And to the peaches, I'm also adding one pint of fresh blueberries. Next, I'm adding some brown sugar, some cinnamon, and a little bit of cornstarch. That's gonna help thicken this up. I'm also adding in some vanilla, and then I'm going to stir to combine. Now at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and cover it and cook this on high for two hours. And you guys, while this is cooking, it's gonna make your house smell so good. I love the scent of peaches wafting in the air. Now at this point, we're ready for the biscuits and I am using the flaky kind. I'm gonna go ahead and cut these biscuits into small pieces. Then I'm gonna toss each piece in some cinnamon and some sugar. And for this, I like to use a Ziploc bag because it makes it a lot easier. So once we have all of the cinnamon and sugar coated biscuit pieces on top, I'm actually gonna finish this off in my oven. And for this, you wanna make sure you have a crock pot that's safe to go in the oven, of course. Now after about 20 to 30 minutes at 350 degrees, your dessert is ready to go. Okay guys, now I would love to know in the comments down below, what is your favorite canned biscuit recipe? I'm always looking for new fun ideas. Now, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video.